Hey. Hey. That boy is too low. What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So today I got something a little different, man. Today, um, now normally, you know, for my normal subscribers, you guys know what my normal content is. Uh, it's on these two bad boys right here. But today I got something different, man. More shop related. And I won't be dipping either. So if you read the title, obviously you'll know I'll be installing uh, air suspension on uh, my boy Civic. Um, I know, boo, Civic, nah, but it's all right though. He used to own a Prelude, so I give him, you know, I give him respect. But uh, he used to own a, a white fifth gen. It was really, it was really clean. You know, I forget what happened to it. Maybe we can get the story from. Him. But uh, headed to the shop now, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and and, uh, and bag his uh, his Civic, man. Get it? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm here. I'm here with my boy Oscar. This is his car, and. Uh, like I said, man, this is not typical content for the channel. This would be more on the shop-related side of things. So, you know, I dip is what I'm mostly known for, but I do everything, man. Tent, everything. So, set sound systems. So, this is just going to fall into one of them categories of shop-related videos. But, um... You got to support the local uh, businesses. And, I mean, I know uh, I've known you for a minute, so... Appreciate your help, bro. Really yeah, do. he he was around back in the days when I had my purple prelude. He even I think I took you on I took you on a ride for it too, right? Oh yeah. All right. That was his first oh, boosted awesome. experience. <laughs> for sure. Purple one's long gone, but uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get his uh, we're gonna do some tests real quick, make sure that uh his his uh kit is ready to go, and then uh we'll take it from there, man. All right, so we got all the well most of the parts, the important pieces laid out. And uh, we was just going over, making sure everything's holding air, you know, doing a little diagnostics. Now we know everything's good. Uh, first thing you want to do is um, get the car up on all fours, get the wheels off, and get it on jack stands. So that's what we'll do first. All right, so right now we're working on the back first. See my man Oscar wrenching away on his own car? <laughs> I don't know a whole lot of Civic stuff, but he gonna learn today. <laughs> But yeah, man, we're working on the back. Uh, we're gonna work on the basically. You need to take it off. Oh, all the way. Okay. Yeah. So there's this like little. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what its purpose is. It's like a cover. It's a cover, yeah. Yeah. So we had to like remove the cover to get to the uh, to the to the bolt. So what we need there's a bolt right. You can't even see it. It's a bolt right there that we have to loosen up to get to the. Uh, I guess it's the lower control arm down here. Push down so we can actually get the spring out. So that's what we're working on right now. All right, so we got that bolt out. Say bye bye to that spring. No more springs, cuz. We're going bags. Yeah, we got the spring out. We're going to um, test fit the first bag in there. Uh, make sure everything's good to go. And then that's pretty much how you do the rear. All you got to do is, um, well, what we did was we took out the bolt for the strut. And then this rear, I think it's a, what it's like a lower control arm, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know all them Civic guys are gonna be like, hey, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> you kind of take the bolt from right here. Like I said, we had to remove this little uh, cover to get to it. Now, once you take that out, kind of use like a pry bar or something, and uh, you'll actually be able to get the spring out like that. And that'll be for both sides. <laughs> okay, so the last uh, kind of piece of the puzzle is this is actually the rear uh, airbag. Um, now what happens is you see that little bolt in the middle, this shiny, nice little bolt. If this thing will focus, what the hell. Anyway, that bolt in the middle um, has to go through the actual. Uh, let me see if I can show you. See that? See that little circle piece with the hole in it? Um, that's in the actual frame of the, of the back of the car. So that bolt needs to go through that hole. So that's not going to fit. So what you got to do is you actually have to kind of, I wish this thing, what the hell. You actually have to uh, drill that hole big enough for this screw to go through. Once you do that, you're all set. <laughs> all right, so we got the back installed. Um, we took the old 
uh, springs out. These uh, old faithfuls got those out of there, and um, pretty much got like I said, we got we already did this side and we did the other side already. Um, moving to the front, looks like we already got this one ready to take out. Oh, yeah. Whew. That's the good thing about these Civics is that there's no upper control arm. So it's literally three. Uh, to take out the front strut, you have to take off this, uh, this, I guess it's like a cowl, this plastic cowl piece. You take that off, and then you actually have access to the hole where the uh, bolts for the suspension are. So there's three. There's, uh, I think there it was a 12, three 12 millimeter bolts holding the strut in. So there's one here, one here, one over there. Um, and then as far as the bottom, actually, I can actually show you on the strut itself. There's two 17 millimeter bolts uh, that go through here, holding it to the actual hub right here. And then you have to take off this clip for the, I think it's the brake sensor, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And then the actual uh, brake line is also, it's a 12 millimeter bolt. But then once you take those all off, knock it loose with a hammer or pry bar and it comes right out one piece. Now we get the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, so we took off uh, the, the BC coilovers, which is probably some of the best on the market in my opinion. I got BC coilovers on my Prelude, so good choice there, sir. There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> but, you know what I'm saying, it's upgrade season, you hear me? <laughs> so we got the air uh, strut in there, the airbag strut, and um, pretty much it's pretty much reverse engineering once you put it in there you got the three bolts up top you come down here and then you're also going to attach the hub back to the strut and um and then you're going to put the two 17s in there tighten those up put the brake uh clip in there and then put the brake line back in here and that's pretty much it for the front so i'll come back whenever we uh finish that part all right so now that we got all four bags installed ready to go um, the next step was basically running the uh, the harness from the battery pretty much to the back of the trunk where the uh, where the manifold is going to be the uh, the ECU for the air suspension there's actually a hole where the harness one of the stock harnesses run through right here so we're actually going to run well we already ran it we ran the uh, it's a hole it's just a plug actually you can unplug it you can actually run the harness through there. It goes um, right underneath the steering wheel on the left-hand side. All right, so we ran the harness through the engine bay all the way underneath the spot that we showed you. It goes in through the fender, and then the fender comes out right by the clutch pedal and the fuse box and all that. I know that's pretty dark to see. I'm sorry. Um, but then we basically what we did was we already took apart the paneling so what we did was there's actually these white um, pieces that hold the stock, stock wiring we actually opened that up and ran this first part in the plastic white pieces and then that continues and like I said we ran it through underneath where the seat is right here into the trunk so now the harness is ran um, next, we're pretty much going to uh, put the uh, base piece back in and start assembling the tank and the manifold, which is right here. And this is the V2 system, if I haven't already said it. I think I did. It's the airlift V2 system. This is the module. Some people call it ECU, some people call it manifold. It's kind of both. It's the ECU manifold. Yeah, because it does all that. <laughs> All right, so right now we got the tank, we got the compressor, um, the water trapper, and, and all the extra connections once we start running the actual line. Um, the next thing we wanted to do is go ahead and get everything kind of mocked up. This is going to be temporary. Eventually, he said he's going to put like a false wood floor, you know, the nice stuff. Um, but until then, we're just going to kind of do it like this, um, just to have a setup in the trunk so it's not all sliding around and all over the place. Mounted, basically. Um, so that's pretty much what we're going to do, mount, uh, measure and drill the holes and get everything like I said mounted up and attached and move on to the next step. All right. So we got the platform built, like I said this is just temporary but this is pretty much what it looks like uh, and we're going to go ahead and throw it in the trunk and then start running the line so that's pretty much the next step.
you can actually you can actually uh, later down the road you can actually cut that with the like the leftover. Yeah. That's pretty much how it's gonna sit for now. Set. He's gonna put a false floor in there later down the road, but for now, that's what it's gonna look like. Get this bad boy in here. <laughs> yeah. So now we just gotta run the airlines, connect everything, and uh, we're almost good to go. So we actually already ran the line through the car and we're actually to the point where I figured it'd be beneficial to show you guys, um, let me get some light real quick. I wanted to show you guys what it would actually look like when you plug it up, um, when you connect the airline to the actual hard line. Um, so basically uh, the threaded, the threaded aluminum line or whatever you want to call it, the braided steel line, um, that goes to the airbag itself and literally it's just plug and play and then we're gonna run that up and tuck it up neatly but for the most part that's pretty much it and um, we already got it ran through the car um, the front ones are already ran to the manifold um, through the plastics that I was telling you guys it's gonna go underneath the plastics so I don't know if you can see this is the airline itself and that's gonna be underneath the plastics running through from the front all the way to the back to the manifold which we already have. Oh, my bad. See, we already got it ran. So now we have to do the do the back, and we're good to go. Long good old. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys pretty much where we're at now. Let me pull out my light. All right. So we got the, all the lines are ran. I'm gonna show you the back in a second. It doesn't even. Once I put this plastic on, it look like nothing. Every look, it'll look like we ain't even pull anything off. Which is the point, you want it clean, nice and tucked. So, um, just keep in mind that this is how we did it. And if you want that clean, tucked look and you're doing it yourself, definitely want to do something like this. Um, also, um, the way we ran the lines for his vehicle, like I said, this is an 08. Um, we're not done yet tucking everything, but um, what we did was we ran the lines up through and this is where the uh, spare tire is. Um, that side, because of the way the muffler is, uh, the muffler is kind of in the way. We actually ran the line across and then up and ran both rear sides through the back like this. My bad, I had my phone in the way. And in that third line, just dangling by itself, once I cut it and fit it, that's gonna be the exit. Um, the exit uh, from the manifold. It's where once you air out, that's where all the air will come from. Um, like I said, we ain't, we're not all the way done yet. We still got to tuck everything, but all the lines are ran to the manifold, and I just wired up the um, compressor. So pretty much only thing that's left now is oh, and you just ran the wire to the controller. He ran the wire to the controller how he wanted to. Yeah, it all depends how you want it to have. Um, you know, the controller show you. Yeah, so he ran it um, the same way we ran the, oh, look at that. <laughs> same way we ran the, uh, the, uh, the, what is it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, the same way we ran the airline, um, is the same way he yeah, ran the cord. Through the bottom, through the plastic, basically. Underneath the plastic. And uh, what I did personally, uh, what I wanted was uh, the control in the middle. I'll find some to stick it, but the point is, I ran it flushly here, nice and clean under the uh, passenger seat pull it out right here as you can see and yeah and then I have room to like move it around if I need to if I need you still to. have your where's your, where's your remote uh right here it's oh. ready to roll okay yeah so there's the remote that's the v2 remote yeah so, so it's gonna be nice tucked and clean so I'll, only two things I have left to do is I have to run the signal wire to most people um, most people recommend running it to like the fuel pump fuse or something similar to that. Um, you can use like a, they call it a fuse splitter. Um, I think we're going to take a different route, but that pink wire you see hanging right there, that's the signal wire. And then, uh, of course, we still have to make the connections for the battery itself, which is right there. And then once we do that, we'll be ready to put everything back together and Make sure that the compressor works, and yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Air it out, cuz. All right, y'all. So we got literally everything tucked away, OEM looking. I got, I just 
put the terminal on the battery. I, I ran the signal wire um, from the uh, uh, from the it's the actual signal wire on the harness to the uh, like I said we ran that to the fuel pump fuse and then um, the only thing left to do is plug in the controller and turn the car on the accessory on and see if see if it uh actually um, what's the word if the compressor kicks on and then we'll then we gotta calibrate it and all that so I guess let's uh, turn the key on and see what happens hey hey, <laughs> hey that boy is science now he's like yo put me on the ground <laughs> put me on the ground so I can air out <laughs> look at him moments away from airing out how you feel extremely excited this this is all bringing back memories. So far, now. I mean, we've been working since like what two? Yeah. So it's been a long, you know, long road, but um. Yeah, I think it's about eleven something now. The thing is, I mean, the best tip I can give you guys is uh, do everything slowly, clean, you know, everything nice and tucked in. Because the more time you spend on it the first time, the less likely you have to waste more time, you know, fixing or whatever. That's honestly the best recommendation I can give you guys. Just take your time with it. Facts. Yeah. Once you get the vehicle, um, get the wheels back on and everything, um, you're gonna wanna go to your controller and before you get it on the ground, I don't think that you wanna be aired out. So um, part of your diagnostics is um, once the tank fills up for the first time, you're gonna wanna put air in each bag to make sure it's not leaking number one and number two you don't I don't think you really want it to be aired out um, or in, you know when you get it back on the ground so put some air in each bag and then once you get it um, outside or wherever you want to do it um, you want to calibrate it and so in order to calibrate it um, I guess each system is gonna be different for the V2 specifically you're gonna hold these buttons are numbered uh, not not literally but they're number one two three four five six seven eight that's what the cord being straight up where you can read the numbers and you want to press button one and five together and you hold that down and it'll pull up a menu and then you press I believe it's two for calibration it takes like 10 minutes to calibrate once you let it calibrate you all set so my man about to get his first official official air out session ready yep Hey, hey, that boy is too low. S excuse me, sir. I need your license and registration. You're gonna have to raise this up. This is way too low. <laughs> hey, man. Another successful install, man. So, this is a 2008 Honda Civic. Is it SI? Honda Civic SI. Now it's bagged. You hear me? On airlift, uh, the airlift V2 suspension setup management system. Looks good, man. So, of course, he's going to get some, probably some new wheels in the future. And uh, it may have to come get that dip session in. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he on his way, man. Looks good. I know he's gonna put some wheels, you know what I'm saying? Come get that dip session, he gonna be in there. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, smash that that uh, that thumbs up button. And uh, you see that right there? That's the subscribe button, go ahead and hit that. And I'll see y'all on the next video.
fucking grand opening I come through and start smoking shit